Welcome to our Q&A video. You got the questions and we got the answers. <laughs> Let's just go for it then. Here we go. It's a Q&A. You don't need to know what it's about. It's a Q&A. How did y'all get started? She said, how did y'all? You all, I can't say that. How did you get started in photography? Any advice for beginners? I started out in high school, probably like sophomore year, and just started doing family pictures, my friends, and um, senior pictures and stuff, and then it just kind of caught on and to make a business out of it. How did you two meet? We met in a parking garage in our apartment complex in Provo, Utah. Super romantic. Her car <laughs> just got broken into, not by me, and I came downstairs <laughs> and started talking and we became friends and then became more than friends. <laughs> Do you two live together? Yes. No. No, we don't live together. Cody. And I got this house um, in August and wanted to fix it up for when we do get married. And so Cody's living in it right now and I stay here during the day and work out of the office here and then leave at night and do the same thing every, every single day. Every single day. <laughs> sucks. <laughs> it sucks. How many kids do you want? I'm not doing count three. One, One two, two, three, three four, three, twelve. Four. <laughs> Three or four? Probably four. How do you find music for your videos? That is a great question. Things have been changing a lot lately in the video world with licensing and um, copywriting. So we used to get our stuff from Musicbed and we still do sometimes, but it gets really expensive on there now. And we never know if it's gonna get um, demonetized, flagged. We have been reaching out to bands lately and hoping to collaborate with people and Cody makes some of his own music and so go. I'm starting to feel like Zac Efron in Great Showman. Oh, you did the Zac Efron? You wish it was Zac Efron. Did Cody do photo video before you two met? Hi, I'm Cody, and I did not. Yeah, before I met Bria, I didn't really do anything. My dad had a camera, and I tried it out one day. <laughs> Took some pictures in the backyard, of some leaves. I saw your Instagram story about you and Cody and your engagement story and your fears and struggles. How did you get through that? Did either of you have doubts or worries about getting married? Why well, yes, yes we did. <laughs> so if you also had or are currently in a really tough, horrible, <laughs> awful okay. engagement, let us know. <laughs> For those of you who haven't seen that, we I might link it below or put a clip in it right now, but um, we got engaged and I wasn't totally prepared, wasn't ready, and started to feel scared. Nauseous. And so we kind of just shared that with people because we felt like no one really shared their feelings about engagement life and how hard it can be for some people. We're through it now, right? We're getting there. We're getting married on April 21st, 2017. 18? It's 2018? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, it is. Uh, it's been for a couple months. So. Oh my gosh. For the photos of you two, do you set up a tripod or give your camera to a stranger? Oh. It's my turn. Oh. Both. Sometimes we'll just give the camera to someone, we'll kind of set up the shot and then have them just press the button. But other times we'll set up a tripod and take some pictures while we'll also put it on video mode and then just grab some screenshots later. Yeah, I like doing video mode a lot because um, you can also keep the video which is kind of fun and then it's kind of cool just to do, we're not very good at posing together. Um, okay, you're the one. No, you're good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, and so we'll just do like a two minute video where we're just like, okay, let's throw each other around or hey, jump on each other's back. Or... This is what happens. Yeah. Hey Cody, be cute, smile, you're excited. You're excited. You're so happy you love this. That's exactly what happens. <laughs> What upcoming trips are you most excited for? One, One two, two, three, Hawaii. 
I'm most excited for Hawaii because that's our honeymoon. And that's the soonest one besides we're doing San Francisco this weekend, but. I am also excited for our honeymoon. It's gonna be great. <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> Ooh, Ooh honeymoon. honeymoon. <laughs> What's the big whoop? I don't even like honey. <laughs> I'm also excited for Africa. We're going to Zambia with Somewhere Divine and I am Zambia. How did Cody learn to play piano so well? Self-taught or taught by a teacher? My mom plays the piano when I was young. I just listened to her play and she didn't force it on me, but I wanted to, to learn. So she, she taught me for a little bit and I've just kind of done it on my own. If so, you had to choose each other's first names, what would they be? Dolores. That's a, a great name. <laughs> Shout out to all you Doloreses out there. <laughs> Dolores, yes! <laughs> I wish your name was Steve. I would probably name you Brooks because I want to name my child that and I think it's so cute. You want to name me, you want me to be your child. Not exactly. You want to be my mommy. No. No, <laughs> no I don't. Hey, mama be. Stop. <laughs> Can't do Hello? <laughs> Uh. What is your favorite camera gear to travel with? My favorite camera gear to travel with is our little drone, Wally. I lost our last drone. R.I.P. Weibo. Hashtag. R.I.P. Hashtag. Rest in peace. Hashtag. Rest in pieces. My favorite gear to travel with is obviously our camera body which is the 5D Mark IV. And then I love our Sigma 35 lens. It's really clear like the 50 and gives good depth, um, but it's wider than the 50, which I like, so it's best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. Why do you two go to Disneyland so often? Oh. That sounds pretty hostile. That's a great question. I probably submitted that. Because I'd love to go. <laughs> we, we, it's snowing. What the heck? So we get hired by clients to just film them and take pictures of them in Disneyland, kind of capture the magic. And it helps because they don't have to lug around camera or worry about photo opportunities. And we get to get in and hang out with cool people and ride Splash Mountain. Who's filming your way? We're planning on filming it. No. Set up a tripod, no. just kind of move around. I'll have a stunt double for Bria. <laughs> We get asked this a lot, or at least I do. I have so many friends who are awesome photographers and videographers, and it kind of just came down to who was available at the time because we planned it kind of last minute. We'd been engaged for ever, for like nine months, eight months. Years. Years. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> my knee is soaked. No, it's just fine. For our video, luckily our friends, Happy Campers, are available, Tyler and Allison. They're gonna be awesome, we're so excited to meet you guys. They're linked down below, they have amazing films and we look up to them so much. And for our photography, we have Rebecca Johnson. She's super good, I've loved her stuff for so long. I've worked with her a couple times and I'm really excited for her to do our wedding too. How did Cody propose? How and when? When? Uh, how and when did Cody propose? When? I seriously can't remember. I know it's so bad. Okay. Last time. All right, I got this, I got this. In the summer. Bria doesn't care about that. Oh, yeah. August. Oh. What? <laughs> Ju uh, July. It was in July 17th. Yeah. Whew. July 17th. <clears throat> what a day to remember. <laughs> I had a lot of help. I decided to propose a uh, day before. So things got a little crazy. I went on Craigslist and messaged like 50 people who had puppies. And I got a bunch of puppies, and they had little notes on their collars, um, handwritten notes from my family and her family. And uh, Bria came up, there were a bunch of lights, and she was all like, oh, I don't know. Crying. Gonna throw up. So then I proposed, and we had some fireworks and some pizza. Next question. How did you come up with Tell the Birds? Oh. Two more questions, we can do this! I feel like I'm melting. 
no, 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 please stay with me. I'm a piece of butter. <laughs> So when I was trying to come up with my name for my business, I was going back and forth. I didn't want it to be my name because I wanted to eventually grow the company into something more than just photography and videography and I wanted to have employees and everything so I didn't want it to be under my name. Plus, my last name would change and I didn't want to have to deal with that and I didn't love the sound of my first name because people kept getting it wrong and Brea, Brea, Brie. Anyways, I wanted it to be a phrase that meant something to me. So I thought about why I loved photography so much and someone that really inspired me with photography was my grandpa on my dad's side. And so I wanted it to have to do with him and my grandma a little bit. Um, and they love birds. There's birds all over their house. They love bird feeders. I think it's so cute. And I love birds. So I wanted to be something with birds and I kind of just threw together that phrase and it sounded good and here we are. Oh, Laurel. Laurel, great. <coughs> We're filming a video and you're you're interrupting it. You're live right now. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Gosh, my friends are so needy. This is the last question because we're running out of light and Chloe's gotta get back to work. What is some advice that you have for people getting into videography and filmmaking? Honestly, I think what I've learned from being around Bria and just being in the industry a little bit is that the equipment doesn't make you a videographer, it's just what you do with the equipment. So you don't have to have a $6,000 camera and all the gear to start. If you really want to get into videography, then start with your phone and just start making little videos and video important occasions and, and you just kind of work your way up. You don't have to start with tons of equipment. Yeah, I would say film some things for your friends. Like I did a lot of um, bridal videos for my friends. Um, even if they were already married, I was like, hey, do you want to get back into your wedding dress? Try out more unique things like stop motion, slow motion. Funerals. <laughs> anything like that. And see what you like and see what you like to do because there's so many different routes you can go within videography. You can do commercials, you can do weddings, you can do um, interviews. Stop bringing up funerals. <laughs> All kinds of things. Figure out what you like, do, do everything and see what is your niche. Yeah, so if you guys want to see more of our videos, you can go to our YouTube um, on Tell the Birds and also follow us on Instagram to keep up to date. If you have any questions or any videos you'd like to see in the future, comment down below. We are so good at filming Q&A videos. This only took us five hours.